Hello, it's Andrew and Joshua at Gongs Unlimited, and today we're going to take a look and a listen at the Big Bang. Now, I don't believe there was a gong at the uh, creation of the universe, but um, on one level, if you think about it, there was. Because in that moment, in the moment where the universe was created, all sounds were, in essence, or permutations of sounds were created. All the elements that were going to start to happen, all the sounds, even if there wasn't an actual big bang, a noise, um, everything that would be that's been manifesting since then was brought together in that moment. Um, and a lot of people, I don't, it doesn't matter to me what religion or atheism or whatever you believe in, uh, there was a certain givingness, a givingness of spirit that um, created that, like whether the creator wanted to talk to us, communicate with us, or just see what they could create, it happened. And from there, we've been doing all sorts of things. Um, one of the things I want to talk about, though, is when we look at this universe and all the study of it and the physical manifestations, we often forget that behind it, there's a spiritual impulse. Before the Big Bang, there was an existence, there was a spirituality, and the Big Bang has brought this physical universe into existence for what any number of reasons there may be. But behind it all, there's always been a spiritual givingness. And I want to take a look at that. Like, what is the energy, like the Big Bang, that is a givingness? The creator just didn't create us all out here to go, hey, there you go, later. Though oftentimes here on Earth, where we sometimes feel that way, um, that's of our own creation, that separation. So I see a lot of it has to do with communication and healing. When we start communicating, when we start making sounds, whether mentally or verbally, like, hey, can I get some help here? It is almost always given, unless it's way off your path or that stuff. Instead, things will be given to get you to the space to have that. But there's always a givingness there. It's always coming down. It's that healing. So that Big Bang was created. We're here making sounds, and then it's coming back down. It wasn't ended. So the funny thing about that all, though, is you might go, I need... An ice cream cone. I need an ice cream cone. And the creator, the giving us, is like, you can have an ice cream cone. But then by the time you get it, it's not an ice cream cone. It's just some crumbs. And you're like, oh, this is all I get from the creator is just some crumbs. I didn't get the whole ice cream cone. So today we're going to take a little bit of a look at that. What is getting in the way of us as people, us as souls, of that great givingness? that God has to give. It's always coming. The Big Bang. The givingness. Well, it's pretty simple. There's lots of things. Whether they're other spirits, our own self-worth, you know, people taking it, us taking it from other people, the constant battle, there's not enough to go around, I don't deserve it, all these different things. So a lot of times I look and I see beautiful things coming down from spirit to try to get to earth and maybe only 40% of it makes it around for all the prayers we're having because things are, we don't deserve it or whatever. So 
you're actually putting out communication and it's coming back it's just not all being received so we're gonna do a little meditation today and if you could find it and you could pause the tape if you need to pause the video pause your phone and just kind of find a place that's quiet to sit with your eyes closed take a moment great so now you've had a chance to quietly sit comfortably have your eyes closed and there, and I want you to start to imagine, just in your inside yourself, I want you to start to imagine the moment that you as a soul were created, you as spirit were created, your personal Big Bang. And you don't have to, don't bring what your concept is of it. Don't say, oh, it probably was like this or that. Just kind of sit quietly and just see if you can find that moment in you where the creator said now you exist and it might just be a small piece it may not be inside it may be all around but try to find it and let it start to be blessed and become aware of it start to say just hello to it See if you notice other energies around it. See if there's judgment on it. See if there's, I can't do it. Some people will be simple. Some people will be very hard. Some people won't believe it. It's okay. But just say hello to it. And in fact, if you're having any confusion about this, just ask your guides, ask the divine to help make it more available for your awareness. Oh, there it is. And ask to be connected to it and let it really fill up your awareness. Do you notice some joy? Are you getting a healing out of it? A new awareness? Now, Sometimes when you do this, you can go, oh, all these other things came up where I felt bad or I didn't, all this stuff. Just forgive that. That's part of our growth as souls. We were created this way. We have taken some tumbles and we're learning things and we're all growing. You can forgive all that. And just kind of let it there. And as you're saying a little to it, ask that part of you maybe even like, what sort of love was I created in? What sort of vibration was I experiencing? Now you don't need to go back there and you just say hello to it because you still are now a soul in present time right here in present time and space. And now ask the creator which you're probably praying or to prayer or just a request or just a hey can you do this maybe for a healing that really releases the blocks to you receiving more and more of the beautiful sounds the beautiful healings the beautiful light that can be given to you because you were created in such a beautiful moment of love and giving but we have blocks up it has to have those blocks removed And it's okay to have blocks. It's okay to have made mistakes. It's okay to have done all this and that because you've been learning. The Big Bang wasn't expecting us to be perfect out here. I want you to kind of say hello to who you are right now. Say hello to the moment you are in time right now, whenever you're watching this. And take a look around and 
and validate yourself. You know, give yourself some kudos for actually doing this. Not everyone on the planet is walking around saying, hey, I'm going to say hello to the moment I was created as a soul. But you just did, and that's great. And it's something you can go back to and practice and learn more about things and heal more self yourself. But you've got to say, hey, I did a good job. Because sometimes stuff's going to come out when you do this that's like, oh, I was this horrible soul, or I made this mistake, or I got lost here. Or just let it come out and just validate yourself because that's all part of the process. Because that strength of communicating to the divine, to the creator, was so strong at that point, you can now bring it into present day. It's a really good thing. And so let's finish this all with a new Big Bang. 